when it, when it wow. came out, yeah, about about one of her kids, they're all trolling and trolling and trolling and trolling, and then it's gone to court and all of that, and obviously they settled out of court. Who paid but for bro, that? Uh, the, the, we did leak. That's who paid for go. it. But you know okay, so was there a conversation? Uh, excuse me, son. Can you sit down and tell me exactly? Did you do it? No, it was probably how can we get out of this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, no, 100%. And a lot of people, a lot of people, especially in in this generation, yeah, we, we saw what happened with um with Andrew and that, yeah? Mm. And we said, hold on, this is madness, bro. Like, this is our bread that they used to bail man out, bro. There's loads of shady stuff, even if we don't need to go... M's, bro. Yeah, as long as... We, we don't even have to go back as far as, do you know what I mean, colonialism. Forget that. The, the Prince Andrew thing is recent. <sighs> The one thing I'm kind of sad about my Twitter is that it's so full of just football blood. I miss out on all the good banter blood because there's different parts of Twitter, yeah, that people send me memes and I'm like, right, these never come up on my timeline. Because <laughs> it's just people I know and it just happens to be through the industry or just, you get mm. me, through football. So I only really see football banter, bro. It's kind of jarring because some of the other stuff is brutal blood. Wait, it's mad. It is mad. It is proper mad. It's, it's brutal blood. Like, do you know I what I mean? And I, statement. He's tweeted, well, he's reactivated his account, has he? I'm not sure, man. I can't see it. Oh, he has. He's back. He's back. He's reactivated. My tweet yesterday was ill timed. It sounds like I won't. Do you remember Home Alone? Yeah, when, yeah. when they were sat there and Buzz is sitting there, he goes, and my, um, my, uh, when, when he pushes him off the stage and sets fire to his head, remember, and the whole mm -hmm. stage collapses. And then they sit there, he goes, Yes, it was ill timed. <laughs> Go on. Might as well no, but, no, but, it, but no, but the thing is, yeah, <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't ill timed. It wasn't ill timed because the timing was perfect. The yeah, problem is, yeah, the right time that you wanted to, you put just it out, didn't, but... you just didn't think it through, my guy. That's all that happened. Do you know what I mean? That's all that happened. I'll be honest. It wasn't ill-timed because even if he said it two weeks from now, people would still be angry, bro. Yeah. Do you understand? So it wasn't did the you timing. See, did you see it... the tweet from um, from that lad, Stephen Tries? Did you see it? Nah, but he's a mad guy anyway. What did he oh, say? Bro, I'm going to send you it. I'm going to send you it. I'll tell you what you want to do with it, mate. But he did. Uh, he did. Uh, <laughs> right, cool. Now I'm, now I'm putting it on the screen. Like, look at this, yeah? Look at what the Irish are doing, blood. Wow. <laughs> bruv, there, bruv. <laughs> Bruv, and we got one, we got one for the Glazers, Malcolm's in a box as well, bro. And I, I was singing that as well. Like, like that Malcolm's in a box is the best song that Man United fans have. That like, easily yeah. the best song. Like, and I'm not ashamed. Like, it just is what it is, bro. Like, look at this, bro. Like, this is nonsense. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. Like people are being shoehorned and pushed into a, a like you have to you have to be upset. Well, there's millions and millions of people that don't care. Did you send me the um the feeling? Yeah, I've sent it now. I've sent it now. He deleted this tweet in the end. Yeah, but it might <laughs> 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 he, deleted oh. it, he deleted it and then somebody pulled him up oh. on it and said why did you leave, delete it and, like, and he goes well um, obviously because a load of people were crying about it blah 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 he goes and the tweet weren't even aimed at her it, was it her wasn't son. it wasn't it was at her son it's true bro nah this is mad bro <laughs> <laughs> bro the thing is I was gonna put I was gonna change. You know what it is. This, this, <laughs> bruv, this bruv, Look at this. Man said apparently all the Queen's children have travelled to Balmoral. Yeah, this is very concerning for any children that live nearby, bro. <laughs> but it's true though. But this bruv. is what I'm saying, man. So right? you got all these people sitting there. That we're pouring out their sympathy, sympathy in that. Yeah. When when it wow. came out, yeah, about about one of her kids. They're all trolling and trolling and trolling and trolling, and then it's gone to court and all of that. And obviously, they settled out of court. Who paid but for bro, that? Uh, the, the, we did leak. That's who paid for go. it. 
But, you know okay, so was there a conversation? Uh, excuse me, son. Can you sit down and tell me exactly? Did you do it? No, it was probably how can we get out of this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, no, 100%. And a lot of people, a lot of people, especially in in this generation, yeah, we, we saw what happened with um with Andrew and that, yeah? Mm. And we said, hold on, this is madness, bro. Like, this is our bread that they used to bail man out, bro. There's loads of shady stuff. Even if we don't need to go... M's, bro. Yeah, as long as... We, we don't even have to go back as far as... Do you know what I mean? Colonialism. Forget that. The, the Prince Andrew thing is recent. There's enough stuff that people in this society There's have a whole seen, documentary you know? on Netflix about it. <laughs> you see what I mean? There's enough stuff that has been seen, yeah, for people to have the view that they don't care. And that's okay. Like, however you guys feel about this situation, yeah, you're entitled to feel that way about it. I'll be honest. Like, I've got a very dark sense of humor, yeah? Like, mm. so even after Man United lost yesterday, yeah? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I had some... Like, bruv, like me and Dave, yeah, were just like, bro, we had some ideas for some video titles, but we knew that, you know what? <laughs> like, some people are going to get upset, bro. Do you know what I mean? And then it's just, it's not even worth it. I can't even have jokes no more, bro. You know them ones. It's only going to get worse bro. as well, mate. Trust me. But that's it's what I mean. My mind always worse. goes to a dark place, bro. Like, Man United lost. Do you know what I'm saying? The man was going to put our video title saying, oh, cheer up, nobody died and that. And then, obviously... I like it was just like yeah, but the comments though, it's not worth it. Man can't even but run jokes no more. Mm. You know, like that. Do you know what I mean? We lost the game of football, nobody died in that. Bro, I, I I did a fan cam with Matt, yeah. Um he's he's an American Arsenal fan, Southern Gooner, yeah. Right, uh, and he always has me in stitches, bro. I put the title, he was going, Arsenal are naked right now. They're naked, yeah, because we're down to the bare bones of the squad now, yeah. I put the I put the title, Arsenal are naked, yeah, and it got flagged, mm. yeah, and demonetized. So I had to change the title and then it got monetized just because mm. I put the word naked in the title. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? It's mad, isn't it? It's insane, bro. You can't, you have to be really careful what you say these days. <laughs> but this is what I mean. Nah, it's just, it's just a bit mad, isn't it? Like, so, but that's what I mean. It's not even that bad, but bro, you have to be careful what you're saying, bro. But like, what did you make of um, Arsenal's performance yesterday, bro? Obviously, Shocking. we lost our game 1 0. Um, I didn't watch your game in it, but I didn't. Um, I haven't seen yours either. Funny enough, <laughs> uh, bruv, you didn't miss anything. It was one of the most like, like horrible games of football that you'd ever watched. Same, same, man. Like, like I, I got ripped yesterday for cussing Marquinhos because he was crying after he scored. I was like, why is why he, was crying? he crying, bro? Why bro, why he crying? scored a goal and tears were streaming down my man's face. But well, why do? Yeah, because he scored his first goal for Arsenal. I said, this guy grew up in favelas, mate, and now he's crying. Yeah, after scoring, what like we see Richarlison yeah. crying the other day. Like, what is going on here? <laughs> yeah, Richarlison yeah, cried after the game, though, to be fair to him, when he was with his family, innit? He probably got yeah, emotional because he bagged a brace 19, in the Champions League. years old, and I had some guy in the comments going, yeah, but he grew up in the slums, and now he's made it. So what do you mean he's made mm. it? He scored against Swiss farmers, bro. Mm. Like, what do you mean he's made it? I said, I've seen plenty of Brazilians play for Arsenal that have, have scored goals and never done anything afterwards. Yeah. yeah no, Nielsen, what happened to him? That, yeah. but yeah, but again, I, I'm not allowed to say that. I'm not. I'm not showing any, you know, any any respect. Yeah, you're sitting on YouTube as a 40 year old cussing a 19 year old scoring goals for Arsenal. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, whoopee. Well done. He had a good game. He was man of the match. It weren't difficult because the rest of them was shocking. <laughs> like, mm. The game was dead, bro. It was one of the worst games of football I've ever watched. And um, mm. they didn't do no press conferences after the games. They've of done course, no yeah. press conferences today. Graham Potter's not um, been able to do his um, press conference. Yeah. Right. It's mad. It is actually mad. Mm. It is mad. That, <laughs> yeah, it was in the first half he scored. It was a good goal, to be fair. Eddie and Katie mm. scored the winner after giving the penalty away. But, bro, like, the game was shocking, mate. Like, honestly. And, and I think a lot of people that are sitting there crying about the games being called off probably need to rejig that and, and sit there and say, yo, that's a blessing for Arsenal. <laughs> yeah, mm. because... We're down to the bare bones. Like Granite Xhaka went down injured at one point yesterday, and I'm even sitting there going, "Oh my god, who's on the bench? We got no yeah. one on the bench. Literally, no one in midfield on the bench, apart from some kid called Smith. His name's Smith. Never heard of him. Yeah, so it's like, bro, I'm not surprised you lot lost. We are social dad do it half decent, yeah. But then I said I did see the team that you put out, and I thought, wow, yeah, like, but it is what it is, isn't it? Yeah, both both of our teams are a million miles away from where we want them to be. But hundred percent, 
But at the same time, yeah, I think you're better better positioned because you've got a better manager and you have better quality in your team to push oh, on yeah. to win I that agree. league or, or get further than us in it. Same in the league. Yeah, we've had a great start, but bro, we played you lot the other day and people are people are getting gassed. Mm. Yeah, and and now it's now they're all gutted because we're going to miss out on playing Everton and Brentford because they expected six points out of that. Now, if both of them mm-hmm. games do get called off, then um, we're playing Spurs and Liverpool the next two games. All of a sudden, mm-hmm. we could lose both of them, and it's not so great anymore, is it? And then it'd be oh, the Premier League stitched us up. Like, do us a favor, turn it in. Now, bro, look at his um tweet. Yeah, my tweet yesterday was ill timed, bro. Man's got one point six k quote tweets, quote. you know. And only five five hundred and thirteen likes, bruv. He's getting fried. You already yeah, know. Read some of the comments. Me. I've read some <laughs> of the comments. I don't he's even want to see it, bro. He's pieces. getting cooked, bro. Do you know what I mean? He's that, bruv. He's finished that talk sport, bro. You know, like that, like he, yeah. But you know he, what? If if he knows he's getting sacked, I wouldn't even fucking apologize. But this is what I'm saying. I wouldn't. And now he bro. feels like he has man. to apologize because he's probably got somebody in his ear, like an agent or something, saying, "Listen, if you want to work again, mate, you you need to put that yeah. out there." Yeah, if he stands by the comments, let's be real with it. He stands by them. That's why he put them out mm. there. Mm. Yeah, and, and it's not the first time he's put stuff out there similar. Like, So he obviously does believe what he tweeted. And listen, good yeah. luck to him. That's what he believes and, and, and he's that strongly about it. Good luck to him. Yeah, mm. and the fact that he's now getting sacked and feels like he has to force, and, force that out there just to appease, fuck off, man. Like, if you're getting sacked, go out in a blaze of glory, mate. But, bro, yeah. like, I don't believe in apologising for something I believe in. Like, exactly. I don't know. I don't believe in apologising for that because then that shows me yeah, that any time somebody applies pressure to you, yeah, you're, you're just going to crack, bro. Like, I, I couldn't care less, bro. I'll be honest. I don't believe th- this council culture thing some joke thing anyway. And that's why I told you, like, yeah, make, make sure you follow my rumble, blood, because when I'm ready to go over there, then... Man will come. I'll say whatever the hell I want, bro. Do you know what I mean? If Trump and them man can be on that platform here, yeah, then <laughs> bro, there's nothing I can say. You know what I mean? That 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 man are gonna do me nothing, 